Hey YouTubers, Bard 49ers Corner coming at you with the weekly mail day. Got some good stuff for you. Got some PSA graded cards, some cards to send off to grading. Um, picked up the 97 tops, Marcus Allen in a 10. Still chipping away at his uh, basic top set. The Ronnie Lott, Scoop 90 score in a 10. Pop a 4 on that one. Picked up some Paytons. Still chipping away at his basic top set is two. There's 2008 and 2005. Shout out to Ryan over at Dominus and Finish. Had to pick this one up second time. Bought this one. Got a real good deal on it. Um, about two months ago. Never got the card. So got the money back, but obviously wanted the good deal. Paid a couple extra bucks for that one, but still nothing too crazy. So, happy to finally see this one in an 8. Uh, I think a guy had a, the whole set, and he broke it up on eBay. And so I picked this up. I have the whole 1959 set um, in pretty high grade, uh, and I'm the number one for it. But I had mostly 9s, 1 8.5, and maybe like 2 or 3 8s, and then I had this turd at the bottom as a 6, uh, as it was the last card. But got it in an 8, so... Brought that GPA back up a little bit, and pretty happy about that. The 86 top stickers, Roger Craig and a 9. Going to be putting together a master set for him, so start picking up a couple of the random ones for him. Another one, 91 Stadium Club, Roger Craig, and a 10. And then, uh, surprised to see this one, 71 Cedric Hartman and an 8. I didn't even know this card existed. Uh, it's not on the 71 um, 49ers set. Um, I didn't build that one, but I built the decade-long one. But I'd never even seen this one graded. And so I had to get it. Once I saw it, I picked it up, uh, even though it wasn't too cheap. Um, so I can add it to those two sets and uh, knock a couple people that are 100% down on the 71s. Um, and hopefully they have a hard time finding it, I guess. Uh, but pretty excited for that pickup. So... Not sure what's going on with the 71s lately, though. The, the prices on them just seem to just to be shooting up at random for some of them. Uh, a guy listed, a, of course, all the Niners that I'm looking for, uh, besides that one, because I didn't know that was out there, for like 85 bucks for an 8 uh, for three different ones. And that's just crazy prices for those. Um, so I'll wait them out. But 87 top stickers, Dwight Clark with Matt Boozer or Bowser. Uh going to do a master set on him as well for Dwight Clark so picking up some randoms here got two of those these are rare ones here 87 ace fact pack Dwight Clark still got to get the Joe Montana this one someday but I have the Jerry and an 8 and it's one of his rarest cards uh, these are what year are these these are 89 or 90s um, I'm going to go with 90 because it's got the 89 stats on the back. But King B discs. Uh, King B with beef jerky. Uh, here's the Ronnie Lott. And there's the Roger Craig. And I have the Montana one of those already. And then 85 Smokey the Bear. Dwight Clark. Real good condition on that one too. So. Mm. Maybe corners. Got a chance at a nine on that one. So that'll be cool. But an eight for something rare like that, I'm cool with that too. Uh, let's see. I also got two boxes of 89 tops. Well, one of the things I got with my eBay bucks, a lot of those cards that I just showed you I got with the eBay bucks, and I got two boxes of 89 tops. Got the two boxes for 42 bucks total, free shipping, so I couldn't beat that. Did uh, pretty well. 89 tops is like the, the set I need the most for to close the gap on my 80s and finish them up because uh, I'm missing 11 out of the 21 as far as in graded form. I have a bunch of the raw ones, but they're tough pulls on the... Uh, centering so I got some that I, I figured would pull tens I collect Dickerson's as well <laughs> can't pass up on the bosses if they're worth tens 
Tim Brown. Got a couple of Rod Woodsons. This is the only one that didn't have some centering problems. There's a Marino. Got a couple of him that had centering problems too. Another Boz that should pull a 10. This one might pull a 9, but I want to get it graded for the master set anyway. I only say that because of the centering top to bottom. A lot of centering issues in these sets. And then uh, I did, these are all Niners here. And I'll send off a couple of you know, dupes or whatnot to see if I can pull it and get a 10. Uh, I think I'll probably, I, I think I'm submitting cards for 9 out of the 11. I got all 11 that I was looking for, but um, there was a lot of centering issues. Corners and everything were real good in these in the boxes that I got. Uh, only a few very rare issues there uh, as far as the edges or anything like that, but there's just the centerings all over the place. I got four Michael Irvin rookies. One of them is not so bad in centering, uh, but the rest of them, you know, it's not going to work out because the goal is for an 89, it's for a 10, obviously. So you can kind of look at them at the centering and just say, it's not going to work out for a 10. And, uh, you know, I can get a 9 probably for 7, 8 bucks. And so it's not even worth the effort uh, sometimes to, uh, to submit them. But fingers crossed on those. And I got like, uh, I don't know. 28, 29 cards left for the 80s out of the 177 or so. So if I get nine of them knocked out through that, uh, that'll be a pretty good jump up. Um, but that's what I got for you. Um, still building stacks on stacks of cards to send to PSA. Got some big ones here and everything. So you should see some massive submissions from me here in the near future. But... That's what I got for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look forward to seeing your videos as well. Later.